You know, part of me wants to say, why doesn't the local church care? You know, why, why don't they get involved? But then I think, man, in the church I'm in, the church you're in, they do care. They do want to help yeah. people. And I see it, and I'm glad to be a, a part of such a local church. But it's our churches are few and far between. And so I think it goes to local churches don't know what to do. They view it as a medical problem only, which there are some medical things going on here. Uh, certainly we want naloxone and, and you know, or Narcan to uh, revive people who are overdosed. That's sort of a medical thing, but people are carrying Narcan on them who don't have anything close to a medical degree, you know, and uh, it's, yeah. people have to. Um, so what do you think about the local church? What can the local church, I want to be positive about the local church. What are they, what can they do and, um, and how can we help them? This is a very difficult subject to think about um, uh, and to talk about um, only because there's so much nuance going on here. Um, you know, when you're, when you're talking about uh, a problem that's killing people uh, to the degree that that uh, fentanyl is, or drugs in general, um, and then you talk about the the church's involvement in it. You got to be very careful not to uh, to attach motivations um, that just aren't uh, that simply aren't there. And it, and we need to talk about a, a subject that that's almost like a in my in, in my opinion, it's almost like this this giant reinforced wall that. Um, that is just barely being chipped away at um, mm. by certain people. And that wall is what you just talked about, just how people think and have been told and taught about what the true problem is. Um, uh, most people I know that are, that are Bible believing believers um, at, at, I don't want to like fault them, right? Because it's just what the general consensus is. They are, have been convinced and taught and assured that this is a, a medical issue. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they, when it comes to a medical issue, you need letters behind your name. The professionals are the ones that know how to deal with those things. And those professionals are dealing with those things. So, yeah, the poor drug drug addicted person that they really want to see get better. Um, you know, you see a lot of them pulling resources to send them to those professionals that can help out with that special medical problem. And again, they, they are taught that and know that and believe that um, just because in general, that's what the consensus is. Right. True. And there's not a lot of people speaking out against that. And, if you do, you, you, you look like you're just a, a crazy conspiracy theorist, you know? And that's the, that's the very crazy tension that people like you and I exist in. Um, and it's it. frustrating. It really is frustrating. I'm not wanting people to, to give me sympathy, but um, they, people need to know that it's a very, I mean, I, there are, there are, there are solid Christian people that I know that, that when I tell them something like this, they look at me and their eyes glaze over and they're like, what in the world is Quigley talking about? <laughs> and they, they just are, they just do not, they just do not understand that, that this is, this is probably beyond the drug itself. This is probably the biggest problem in dealing with the addicted. Yeah. Um, that, the, the 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 consensus, including the church's consensus, is that this is not a spiritual problem. This is ultimately a medical problem, and um, and the professionals have it handled. And there and and, <laughs> and there you go. Statistics, statistics don't even prove that. I mean, the statistics actually scream the exact opposite. Yeah, that with all the money that they have thrown at this. With with all the funding that goes to the professionals in quotation marks, their their results get worse and worse and worse every year, and nobody questions it. Nobody nobody is like saying, "Well, what what are we getting for the millions and billions of dollars that is going to this industry of trying to help the addicted?" 